This is a Rhino model of a twisting tower, which was created parametrically using this Grasshopper script. The script is fairly simple. You start with a rectangle, which is really a square in this case. The square has a width of 25 meters, and essentially, after first centering the square, you replicate the square 51 times, 51 being equal to the number of floors, including the ground floor. The floor-to-floor -floor height here is set equal to four meters. And more importantly, I am adding an angle of twist of 1.8 1.8 degree at each floor, so that overall the twist ends up being equal to 90 degrees. Now, after adding a few more components to the script, I can also fairly easily define the columns, the slab edges, and the slabs themselves. Of course, everything is parametric, so I can play with the angle of twist. I can play with the number of floors. I can play with, say, the width of the base square, and the geometry will update in Rhino accordingly. Now, I can, of course, bake this geometry to Rhino, and then importing that geometry to Lucis. But there is, however, something even better that you can do in Grasshopper directly. Now, with the latest Lucis release, there is an additional plugin available, which is called the Geometry Gym to Lucis plugin, which enables you to define attributes and to assign these attributes in Grasshopper directly. So for example, here, I am defining a thick shell attribute with a mesh size of two meters that I am that I am assigning to the slabs. I'm also defining a geometric surface attribute S250.25 here would be the slab thickness, so 250 mil. I am also defining a material attribute here with the Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and mass density that I am, that I am assigning to the slabs. I can do the same for the columns. So here, for example, I am defining a mesh attribute I can also define a geometric attribute for the columns. So here I am defining a 900 by 900 mil square section. I can also define a material attribute and likewise do the same for the concrete shear walls here in the center of the tower. I can do other things in Grasshopper directly. I can define surface loads. So for example, SDL here would be a superimposed dead load of 1.5 kPa acting in the Z direction. I can define a live load of 2.5 kPa. I can define boundary conditions. So here, for example, I am defining pin supports by restraining the X, Y, and Z displacements. And once I am done with my components, with my attributes and assignment, I can go to this part of the script and in particular to this button, the bake model, which will enable me to not only bake the geometry to Rhino, but to actually create an MDL file. So a proper Lucis model, which is even better than a script. This is something that I've done already. And here is the resulting geometry. You can see it corresponds exactly to the geometry I had defined in Grasshopper. I can turn on the flashing on, I can turn on the perspective view on, and something that is really nice and now available in the latest Lucis release is to add some background to this view. So let's select here, for example, concrete, and let's add a skybox, and we can look here at the tower in its context. So in this case, of course, it may not be the most appropriate context, but you can change it and then convey uh, and then show what would be the structure in its environment to the client in a presentation or in a report.